What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back yet again with another action figure setup, man, and it is the month of October, so we are diving in with a beautiful Halloween slash horror edition of action figure setups. Alright guys, so as you can see, the backstage area is absolutely filled with horror action figures invading the MDT arena, as they do multiple times a year, you know, uh, the superstars are never prepared, they always get effed up. However, some of them are battling back, and we'll get into that a little bit. However, guys, if you please will, leave me a like down below, try to get this video to 2,000 likes if we can, and comment down below what your favorite horror movie franchise is, I would greatly appreciate it, that would be amazing. But anyways, guys, we got some epicness going on in the setup today, man, and what we're gonna do is start off in the GM's office and then we will work our way through and showcase everything that's going on today in the setup. Blood has filled up the the whole backstage area and it is a complete mess and it's going to be a bit to clean up. So if we start off in the GM's office, man, you guys will see that we have Bret Hart right here and he has been crushed by not only the television, I call it a TV, I don't know why I said television, that sounds stupid, but he also has the bookcase falling down on top of himself, but it just didn't randomly happen, right? We have Jason Voorhees from part six right here, maskless, and he has brought the thing down onto Bret Hart. Now, at the re you're probably wondering why Bret Hart's in the GM's office. So, I, I use figures that have yelling expressions, so I grabbed a bunch of those off the shelf, and Bret Hart just happened to be one of them, so I was like, you know what? You're getting crushed, Bret. That's it. You're not going over today. If we exit out of the office, man, we come up front. We have Leatherface with Seth Rollins strapped down to the stretcher, getting chainsawed right in the midsection, blood spatter on the apron. You got Seth Rollins yelling in agony, chainsaw ripping him to shreds, blood everywhere on the ground, so Leatherface is uh, getting the best of Seth Rollins right here. We have used this Elite 52 Seth Rollins in like every single horror action figure setup because it looks like not only is he yelling, but it looks like he's in pain and agony, which is very much appreciated here in the horror action figure setups. If we come forward a little bit, guys, you will see Ric Flair's face. Look at him. He's like, holy shit. And the reason is because he's looking at the, cr the Crooked Man. If you guys don't know what the Crooked Man is, look into it. But this is the new Crooked Man. This is one of the newer additions to the Halloween slash horror action figures that I got. And I feel like he looks like... Mr. Meeseeks. Am I tripping? He's over there like, I'm Mr. Meeseeks! Look at me! Am I, am I, like, dude, he, he really looks like him. Like, look at the holes in the hat. Look at that. Dude, that's Mr. Meeseeks. It's become clear. Look at me. Anyways, coming back here, guys, you will see Jinder Mahal getting his face shoved into the barbed wire platform deal by Jason from the Remake 2009. He's got the bag over his head, but Jinder Mahal is getting his face mashed into the barbed wire right there, and it is leaking blood all the way through. So Jinder Mahal getting tortured right there by Jason. If we come over here, guys, you will see Dustin and Cody Rhodes, and we got a tie back kind of to their match a little bit. You can see, I don't know why, I guess because this Dustin's yelling, I should have used the Blood Brothers 2-pack, but that one's not yelling. But you guys can see Cody's all beat up. He, you know, he's got blood all over himself, and that's because they actually killed Jason back here. And you guys can see the puddle of blood. The puddle of blood's there. Jason, from part two, is laid out, you know, blood all over the place, leaking out, puddle of blood there. And I have them escaping right there. I mean, to be fair, Pennywise is right there to his left, and you got Jason over here, and Scream is back there, Ghostface is back there, so probably won't make it out. However, you know, they're doing pretty good right now. They got a kill in there. Next up, guys, we have Demon Finn Balor, and he is fighting back with Pennywise. So they're just kind of battling out up here on the storage unit and table. So Pennywise and Demon Finn Balor, you know Demon Finn Balor, he ain't scared of Pennywise. So they're going to battle it out right there. If you guys would like to see an action figure match of that, let me know. Coming over here, guys, you guys will notice Ghostface. You guys know that Ghostface sprints after victims, right? He doesn't he doesn't do the Jason Voorhees or, or the Michael Myers where they kind of just transport through thin air or walk everywhere. He'll sprint after your ass, which always made him kind of more scary in my opinion. You know, he'd knock over furniture and he'd come at you more so aggressive. Whoever played the stuntman for that or whoever did that, they were all always super aggressive, man. It always scared the hell out of me. And Hulk Hogan is on the run right there. You guys can see it on his face that uh, he's terrified. So Hulk Hogan is trying to get away. You guys will notice that a Freddy Krueger figure back there, he was in like the nurse's outfit, but he fell and his ankles are ungodly loose. So I said, F it and just, just keep going. And we come to the front of the setup, guys. You guys will see Chucky and Tiffany up here. Tiffany holding X-Pac by the head sculpt and Chucky with the head clippers about to chop the tongue, Brad. You guys can see he's tied up. He can't go anywhere. It is uh, pretty much a wrap for the man. So you feel 
feel bad for him, but he does have his tongue sticking out right there, and Tiffany's making sure that, you know, he can't get away, and uh, they, they're about to uh, chop off the old tongue right there, which is pretty gruesome. So Chucky coming after X-Pac right there. Just behind that, guys, we do have Fandango, and he has had his face crushed by a cinder block. Now, I did have more blood on there, but I did that first before I set anything else up, so the blood is quite dried there, so that's kind of disappointing. However, Fandango did get smashed in the face by the cinder block, and you gotta feel bad for the guy right there. I don't know who did it, you know? There's no culprits around, but, you know, one of these dudes did it. We'll come to this at the end, guys. I want to take it over here to Jason Vore. He's chopping off the hand of AJ Styles, which AJ Styles yelling in agony. His hand is off, blood everywhere, and Jason Voorhees from uh, Freddy vs. Jason has chopped his hand off, so thought that would work out, and I actually pulled that figure out, and his hand was already gone, so I figured this would be a perfect place to put AJ Styles with his hand off. If we come over here, guys, you will see Michael Myers, and Michael Myers has just taken out Akira Tozawa with a hammer shot to the back of the head. He's face down in the puddle of blood right there, so Michael Myers went all in, and you can just see that evil stare down on Akira Tozawa, and uh, I gotta find my Dremel. I was gonna do more stuff like this, so I actually did drill into the head sculpt like I did last year, but I gotta find my Dremel so I can do more of that when we get into other setups. We come over here, guys. Kalisto is yelling because Jason is holding him up against the wall, about to hit him with a machete. That is the part 7 right there. Still waiting on my NECA part 7, but I like this. I like how he's holding him up against the wall right there. Pretty cool use of the large figure from NECA compared to the small Kalisto, so I like that right there as he's like, you know, has him gripped up against the wall. Behind that, guys, we do have a shovel duel. Now, any WWE figure collector will understand this because that is the Boneyard Match Undertaker that we got with the shovel, and then you have Jason with the shovel, so I just thought a little shovel battle would be pretty fun here in the setup. So I have Undertaker and Jason going to war there with the shovels. Comment down below who would win. And just to the left of that, the GOAT John Cena. You know, I had to pick somebody to get picked on, so I have John Cena lifting up Freddy Krueger, hitting him with a FU slash attitude adjustment, and Freddy's yelling out in agony. I was going to make John Cena bloody, but the blood just wasn't dripping how I'd like. I need to get better blood. I don't like the fake blood I'm using, so I, at this juncture, I didn't want to get it all over my Cena, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to put some slash marks on him as he's delivering the FU to Freddy, but that's a pretty cool part of the setup right there. And if we go into the last part, which is probably my favorite part of the setup, man, you will see this new rhino alien just goring Goldberg, and you guys know that you know, Goldberg usually is doing the spearing and the goring. However, this time, man, he got taken out by Alien, and Alien has gored that horn right into his chest slash sternum slash stomach midsection area. How many different words can you use, you dumb jackass? Right through his midsection, blood everywhere. You can even see the, the small alien in the si inside of his mouth coming out there with blood on it, blood all over the ground as well, and Goldberg is getting taken out. Really like that. You know, it's kind of like a, the irony there with Goldberg getting speared when he's usually the one doing the spearing, so I thought that was cool. And finishing off our setup, man, which we'll probably do a swanton bomb onto the alien. We got to do it, right? So we have Jeff Hardy up here celebrating or about to jump off onto the alien. But you guys will look behind him. You will see that none other than Pennywise the Clown, the original Pennywise, is sitting behind Jeff Hardy. And Jeff has no idea. So we better bail the hell off before it's too late. So we'll do that at the end of the setup, man. But that pretty much wraps up our setup, man. Stay tuned to the very end of the video so we can do that swanton onto the alien. But uh, pretty sweet setup, man. I can't wait to get into more setups. I am going to do a bunch of other additions, so stay tuned for all of the setups we have coming this October. And we're doing more horror uploads every single day unless WWE and horror are combined. Like, so for example, there are WWE and horror figures in this video, so we would not be doing a double upload today. However, if I upload like a surgery or some other WWE action figure video, a horror video will come on later in the day. So hit the subscribe button, hit that 2,000 likes goal, and comment down below your favorite horror franchise, man. But anyways, guys, I'm I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram at MyDamnToys for more horror and WWE action figure videos. And let's get into this swanton bomb. Don't cross the line like every WWE figure did in this setup. Oh my god, Brad Jeff Hardy's coming on down on top of Alien with a swanton bomb! And it didn't do anything. It took out Goldberg, so... Oh my god, Brad Jeff Hardy's coming on down! Mission failed. You crossed the line, I've been